Jordan Clarkson, if it wasn't for Robert Clarkson right here. Say it, like literally, you give him work. <laughs> but why is it important for you? You know, you guys are from Texas. You know, um, it's something that you've always felt like to be connected to the Filipino community. Um, you know, Jordan's mom and Jordan's Lola, we, we celebrated at the COVID, you know, a festival and she came out you know, years ago. But why is it important for you to continue that tradition? You came to Corona, where there's a lot of Filipinos in the center and suburbs. Why is that important for you? And, and we can talk about that later. I want to know for you. Why well, are you, you don't have to be here. You're no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> I mean, that, that, this community is near to our heart. This was his first camp was, when he was with Lakers. Was here in Rome. That was his first camp. And so he, got, he, he was surprised by the support, to be honest. That was something really just. And he's not worried about going to the big cities. Los yeah. Angeles, because everyone wants to go to Los Angeles. Everyone wants to go to you know, uh, New York and do camps. And that's what they're doing, rightly so. But Jordan knows he can be more impactful in areas where they don't do camps. Like we're going to Utah. I'm going to go to Utah to do camps. So we're going to do camps in Utah as well. Well, what made you choose Colorado? Because I saw him at the airport. Mm -hmm. and I thought he said he was from Riverside. Where there's no tie to Riverside at all. Yeah. Okay. We have family members. Oh, here. that's what it is. We have family members. They're all here. <laughs> <laughs> they're, working, they're working right now. They're working. Yeah, yeah they're busy. So they want a free camp. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, again, you know, Corona is where well, he, 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 he said it was for his first camp, and he said, I'm always going to go back there. Regardless of all the other camps we do, I want to make sure I go back. So this is the first camp post COVID. And Coach, you do a lot with Philadelphia, like, even without um, Jordan, and you speak to the kids. Why is that important for you? Because you were a coach before you were a father, and before all of this. Yes, yes, ma'am. Well, of course, Lola. Lo 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 Lola is a big reason why. Absolutely. Yes, yes. And as I stated, you know, he's turned that opportunity to play with you, play USA basketball. Wow. And the opportunity is because he wants to be That's huge. And everyone really, they don't understand how impactful that is and how meaningful it is to him. You know, he can go out and possibly make an Olympic team and give him a shot to make him get him a gold medal. But um, that's, not, that's not where it's hard is. Yeah, you can, you can get in camera too. So tell me, like, um, you've been to the Philippines before, right? All right, tell me about that experience because did you realize how big it was? Because we played at the airport. The news was enough. And then when like, Jordan was basically Jordan, like Michael Jordan to that, right? They don't even know Michael Jordan, but they know Jordan Clarkson. But how was it for you when you kind of walked out and saw what kind of presence your son had in the Philippines? I heard about it. Because Kobe went there, LeBron went it. there, Steph Curry goes there. But with the names you just mentioned, that's not one of them. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. You, know, you can go, but until you have a very image of yourself, and that's what I think, that's what I see in them. When they see him, they look like themselves. And you're like, I can do that. But Jordan brings it all down to us a, a, the lowest level possible meaning. I was one of you. A long time ago, before you saw it, that's what I was one of you guys, and I was working to try and get there. And that's something that we're trying to work with with, with Kai Sue. Kai is 100%. Kai didn't make it, right? The job. No. That happens. But it's not the end of the world. Right. You still have an opportunity. He's paid to play the And so he can sit back. And he's going to interact with Jordan. He's, you know, the team around the table is going to interact with Jordan. And Jordan will give some inputs because to Jordan, it's important to see for him to see Kaiser. You know, it's good for all of them because there's Remy Martin that just yes. won and he didn't get dropped it. There's also, I forgot, um, the one that I just There's another one I just posted, but we'll remember. But I like the way you said because it's like basically the ancestors, ancestors have our back. So where, you, where Jordan is from in the Philippines is Pampanga. That's where Apple the Black Eyed Peas is from. So we're going to take it back. We're going to do a little bit of history lesson. So the Philippines, as you know, 7,000 islands, and it originated with black African right? mm -hmm. So to actually come back as a dark-skinned Filipino is actually coming back to your roots. Like we were talking to Sweetie about this yesterday. So it, it's like, it's really the ancestors that are kind of putting him in this place to be able to come back. And like a little bit of a spiritual idea. It might sound like crazy, but that's what it is. Because we've been changed so much thinking that we have to be lighter. They whiten their skin out there. But someone like Jordan comes back, her, Sweetie, Apple, the Black Eyed Peas, Jay Ray Soul. That's who the biggest Filipinos are in the world. 
Manny Pacquiao, and we don't spend it on diamond chains. Even when, when Manny thought, hey, look, he's building like schools and apple trees and sort of thing. So that's why we hope, you know, we're going to go back with you. I think first we talked about it, we talked to Sweetie yesterday, but we really want to make an impact. We really want to show that you know, our, our skin of brown can really come back to our community. And we don't have to change. It's actually beautiful to be brown, you know, so we love that. And, okay, so what's next? Because we do have Filipino Heritage Lights in San Diego, and I told them to specifically choose uh, Utah, but what's next for you guys? Well, as far as I Just, 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 what's the first, like, what do you want to do? What, what haven't you done yet? Because you've done everything. Well, no, no, we haven't done anything. We've done, we've, we've done a lot. I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, and maybe I'm, maybe this is sneaky, maybe I shouldn't leak this out. <laughs> You want to you want to Johnny be sponsored? But but, but, uh, but I believe. But they launch in Utah. I, I, I believe, and in, in this, I guess I believe on the twenty fourth, twenty fifth, in the Philippines, there's a basketball FIBA tournament or something like that. Yeah, it's next year. No, no, no it's, 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 it's next year. Yeah. Oh, do you guys want to go? Sorry, do, 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 do you want to go? Because we know the we know the person. Well, we, 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 oh, you're very you're not there. Well, you know, you I guess right. Are you announcing or am I announcing? Let's go for I, I, I think people, I think people will see it. Uh, but, uh, that, that, uh, that's, that's the best I can say. And I, I, well, I told Sweetie yesterday, I'm like, well, I thought it was next year. Well, that's the best way. The worst thing. The World Cup is next year. But what about the basketball? It's, 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 a, it's a qualifier. It's a qualifier. Oh, but they're going to play again. So it's the okay, 25th, yeah. 24th, 25th. Yeah. 20, that's a qualifier. Which is next month. But the Philippines so, is hosting the whole World Cup next year. Okay. That's what Sweetie's going right. to perform at. Right. Oh, wait. And, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. We'll meet her. We hope for. We hope she's gonna be there. <laughs> but um, yeah, we um August. Uh, what next month? Thanks so much. Here, so we actually brought you the the first pitch call from yesterday. I just wanted to say thank you for always answering my FaceTimes. They don't understand my coach Clark's and always orders, but like he understands where the bridge to the Filipino community. So uh, I'm giving it to Callie. I don't know what she's gonna play, but she's gonna that's be playing. Yes, that's kind of right, But thank you so much for oh, all you. I think so. Like, like an honorary. I think you're your first. But again, we're a couple first class. I think that's why we're a little But um, thank you for all that you do. I know that not you don't get to do a lot straight for us, but we really value you. You and the other. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. said every time we got in the huddle today was hard work. I think that's what we all got to do to make it to where we want to be. I'm going to 
gonna leave y'all with that. We're gonna bring it in one more time. Dukes, break it down, and we out. Let's go, let's go. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Yeah, yeah. I lied, I lied. I remember I said the last one gotta be the best, this gotta be the best. We gotta end on a good note, we gotta end on a good note. Let's go, let's go. Hard work on three, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so yesterday we were at the Dodgers game for Filipino Heritage Night. Got my boy Anthony, the founder of Phil M Nation Select. Oh my God, is your son in there? Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Real question. So um, we've been really busy, but our friend Jim Sand, our Chinese Filipino friend that owns our company, he wants us to promote that we have a Filipino comedy night hosted by Anthony Presents. Who else? I'm gonna tell jokes. Um, the, the Lumpia King himself. The Lumpia Chef. Who else we got? Ivy. Who else we got? Lumpia King. Yes, it. Who else is performing? Kevin Camilla. Kevin Camilla. Who else? He's the boss. Andrew, he, he, he just gets Andrew. the money, so he tries it. Andrew, both Andrews. No, on the 11th, San Jose. Um, Kevin, Ali. Kevin, Ali. Ali? I, Ivy. I Kevin, Ivy, and Keith Pedro. He's the number one comedian in Canada. He's coming to San Jose. Anthony presents. Lumpia I'm going to present at San Jose. I love San Jose. If you guys remember the Filipino comedy nights with Joe Coy, with Joey Gia. I keep running away from this. I keep running away. Because we're in Jordan's camp I'm and I just want a photo. Okay, and we got to deliver his Starbucks. But Jim's they keep telling us we got to post about this. And there's an Irvine show, August 14th. Brea. Jim's, oh, Brea, Brea. So Jimson lives in Irvine, but the show is in Brea. And it's with the two Andrews, Arolfo, as well as... Uh, Andrew Lopez, but we'll see you guys there. Filipino Comedy Night, it's gonna get sold out. We're actually filming our TV show, Filipinos in Hollywood there. So don't miss it. Um, August 11th, August 14th, tickets are on sale right now. Um, we'll post the link on our Instagram, uh, but we'll see you there. It's gonna be sold out. There's only a few tickets left, we'll see you there.